Hey guys, this is Rodeska, and I'm coming to you with a tutorial today for getting step files into Plasticity uh, the easy way. Uh, there's been a few tutorials online that haven't really helped me all that much, um, although they are great for, uh, you know, for what they are. Um, they didn't really help me. I, I kept on having problems and issues, and hopefully this video will help you guys get through all of your issues with getting your files into Plasticity. For this, you are gonna need to need you are gonna need to have um, a CAD software. I'm using Moi. Um, some people use Autodesk Fusion. I tried that and it didn't work. Uh, I found that Moi actually is the best option for me. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I have this model that I've been working on. Um, this suit model. It's an OBJ file. It's fairly low poly. Um, we actually go in here and we see the wireframe you can see that it's fairly low poly and this is something that I want to build my suits um, or build the suit on um, inside of plasticity but it doesn't like when you import OBJs and if you are like me and you're not really well endowed with finances um, then you know you probably got the cheaper option of plasticity which doesn't allow you to import um, IGS so you'll get this little red box around your um your mesh when you try to import it so if i try to if i go into here um if i go into plasticity right now you can see that i actually already have my model in here but if i try to import an um an iges file so if i go to import and append and then i go to any one of these files so this is an iges file um you'll notice i have this red box around my uh, import options and this I believe means that I can't do it I'm, I'm not allowed to because I don't have the proper version so what I had to do was I had to go inside of Moi um, and convert this file into a steps file so there's not any tutorials that I've seen so far on how to do this um, a lot of them are really complicated and they're just uh, they're not for me I don't like complicated stuff so basically what I did was I went over to Moy's sub D and I said create a sub D and then I click on this little arrow and then it says from file. If I click on this, it'll ask me what file I want to import and I'm going to import my suit file, my OBJ file. That's going to take a second to process um, because it's processing all the edges. This is kind of why I wanted to do a low poly model um, as opposed to a high poly mesh that might take longer. Um, and you can see it's going fairly quickly. And there you have it. You have your model and it's now ready to export um, from Moi into Plasticity. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to a file, uh, you're going to go to export, and then you're going to choose your uh, step file. Okay? And then obviously you're going to save it where you want. I obviously put it here. And you can see that if I hover over it, it says it's a step file, 177 megabytes, and it was created today. So, uh, yeah. And then all you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to go into plasticity and you're going to go into your options. You're going to import that. You're going to go into it, uh, grab your file, import that, open it up. And now, as you can see, we don't, we no longer have a red uh, box around our file. Uh, you can click the heal orientations and general, uh, general healing and then click OK and then that will import your model. So hopefully this has helped you guys. I'm going to click on these two just to show you. And first, I'm actually going to. Um, delete that just to show you that it's working so we're going to import our Gwen suit um, not sure what just happened yeah this is obviously a plasticity thing let me actually reopen it give me one second there we go so we're going to go in here we're going to go to import our Gwen suit. We're gonna go to heal. We're gonna hit OK, and it's gonna take a second to calculate because again, it is calculating the edges. It's calculating what it's trying to read, but after that, it should be imported into your thing. You can still, um, if you're like moving around and it's kind of freaking you out that you're able to move around and you're like, oh well, it didn't import. It just takes a second. Plasticity does allow you to move around and, and navigate in the viewport while it's loading up. But uh, there you have it. Now you have a step file inside of there. It's been calculated. Um, 
and it's uh, you know it's ready to start editing. So now you can go in here and you can just start uh, and start editing. All right. So hopefully that has helped you. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.